Hello and welcome to crazybean.com. In this video, you will learn how to download or activate Microsoft Office for free. You need your computer connected to the internet to do this task, of course. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so first of all, in order to get all the uh, Microsoft Office for free, you have to have a Microsoft account. If you don't have an account, it is very easy to create one. Just go ahead and go to the um, web browser and type in accounts.microsoft.com backslash accounts. But don't worry to do all this. Uh, just follow the link in the description of this video. This will be the, the easiest and fastest way to uh, create an account. So once you are in this um, website for my, from Microsoft, just click on create an account. If you already have an account, you can just go ahead and sign in in this tab. One of the quickest ways to activate and to download the uh, Microsoft Office, go to the Office, uh, Microsoft Store Office, and click on the icon, which it's most of the time if you are running Windows 10, it is on the bottom uh, search for bar. So click on that. Microsoft Store and you are on this website that has a lot of the uh, Microsoft products so we're gonna go ahead and do a search on the top right corner and we are going to search for office enter and here we are on the uh, office products actually the ones on the top pop right away however it is not here so we're gonna go ahead and click on more on the uh, right arrow and still is not here so we are going to go ahead and click on show all so the icon that we are looking for it's Microsoft Office as you can tell you can also download individual uh, apps here for free which is Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook and all, and all of those however by downloading or activating your Office account uh, you get all of those in one package and here it is Microsoft Office it is this one here and what we do I already have mine installed so I am not gonna go through the whole process however you just click in here and you should follow the directions on how to go about if you already have an account once you launch it it will take you straight to your office uh, you just need to sign in with your uh, Microsoft account whether it's a Hotmail live account um, the old ones are the uh, MS accounts I used to have a MS account I lost it uh, your Hotmail your Outlook all of those accounts are from Microsoft so once you sign in it will drive you into office and activate it and here is mine okay so this is one way now the other way to do this is by going straight into the uh, Microsoft Office account straight which is office.com so if you type on your web browser office.com it will take you to the uh, website of Microsoft Office and once you are there you can sign in now if you are signed in already uh, with your computer at all times then it should drive you straight to this website now let's go back to the house let's go back home and this is how it should look uh, on the left hand side column you have all of the free apps Word, Excel uh, PowerPoint, Outlook, the uh, the email, uh, OneDrive. This is where your storage is. I believe you get five gigs for free, uh, OneNote, and so forth. Uh, if you want to see more of the apps, you click on the bottom left corner, and by clicking there, uh, these are all of the uh, free apps that you get just by creating 
an account now you might say by why it's Microsoft Office giving these for free well most of the competition it is giving a lot of applications for free not a full package but to the extent that we can uh, utilize it and collaborate with uh, other users uh, for example Google Google has a lot of free apps so Google started giving uh, uh, apps for free and then others follow and now Microsoft also follow okay so here it is your Microsoft Office and then from here you can open Microsoft Word you can open a new blank document and you are already here and you are ready to work on this and if you don't want to go back to your Microsoft account here you just click on the uh, um, nine dots here on the left and it will activate the app launcher and you have more of the apps here or actually all of the apps so if you want to go to a PowerPoint then click on the PowerPoint and it should drive you into the Power, uh, PowerPoint app and this is how you navigate from the, the apps now let's click again on the apps I click the wrong app there is this one here another one over here this is for uh, Google so this is for Microsoft and then here where you can check your email from here uh, we are in PowerPoint at this time so you can go ahead and check your OneDrive account as well and it should take you to your files and everything else uh, you can also open your Excel app create invoices here and so forth so this is how you accessed most of the uh, free applications that Microsoft has to offer just create an account with your outlook with outlook extension with hotmail extension and if you or um yeah or if you already have an an old account ms and or any microsoft account then just sign in and go to the process that i just shown you and you should be on your way to use all of these here the Skype the calendar and go to all of the apps here okay well thank you very much for learning something new today please subscribe to my channel to continue with these types of videos I, I am trying to grow my channel and I am trying to upload a video every day about applications mostly free applications that will make your work but your life easier. Thank you very much.